I want to start by asking you, sir, about the kind of reactions that we are seeing from Bihar to Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh to Haryana over the government's new Agnipat scheme. Why, as the Navy chief, as somebody involved in the conceptualization of this scheme, do you believe that this scheme is in the best interest of the armed forces? Of course, I believe that this uh, scheme is in the best interest of the armed forces. Uh, the scheme that has, uh, uh, I think, uh, come of age, it is a scheme which uh, was long overdue. Uh, this, uh, what is the origin of the scheme? You know, uh, the uh, Cargill Committee report had in its recommendations, you know, suggested that the armed forces uh, need to have a much more uh, younger age profile in consonance with the other armed forces of the world. So this has been there since then and numerous reports have uh, uh, sort of uh, strengthened this uh, aspect of it. And uh, while uh, we have been working on it, you know, it is a, this is a transformational change and any change is not easy to uh, implement, it's not easy to decide upon. So, uh, so with this uh, almost two years of uh, planning has happened uh, in this uh, scheme. We have tried various options, we have uh, examined the models in a uh, whole lot of countries and uh, but we were determined that we need to reduce the age profile because the age profile was around uh, 32 years uh, which is considered to be a little higher and we are looking at reducing it to about uh, 25 or you know below 25. Now one of the concerns these protesters seem to have and I was speaking to a few yesterday is that char sal kya jobless. Now that's the one big overriding fear. That the whole idea of coming into an armed forces position is that you work really hard, you get through, you work for 15 years, you take care of the nation and then the nation takes care of your family. That's the whole ethos behind wanting to join the armed forces for a typical jawan. Now they are concerned that 75% of them will essentially be jobless at the end of four years. How do you address this concern? No, you have to see what are the, uh, what are the benefits of the scheme. In the sense, uh, it is a scheme which is help, helping to modernize the armed forces, make the uh, profile of the armed forces much younger, and at the same time, the, uh, the uh, uh, society and the nation is benefiting from this because uh, you imagine uh, uh, a soldier who joins, an Agnivir who joins, you know, at the age of 17 and a half, he joins, he is trained, he's, uh, he brings in uh, his uh, bit of youth and vigor and vitality that is required for the services. And at the same time, he undergoes training, experience, he does, uh, you know, he gets tremendous exposure. For example, whether it's in the Army, Navy or the Air Force, the type of technology that he gets exposed to, whether it's a tank, whether it's a ship, whether it's an aircraft, uh, he works on all these things, he operates and uh, today the technology has changed so much that, uh, the, for example, on a ship, the combat management system is more like, you know, uh, how you use a, you play a video game or uh, the panels are like that. The uh, the buttons, the mouse, the keypad, they're all quite similar to, you know, a smartphone and uh, so on. So there is a complete technological change, which uh, the modern day uh, Agnivir will definitely be able to hack it in much faster time. No, sure, and, but that's uh, yeah. for four years. Yeah. Their concern is what happens after the four years when 75% so, of them don't get regularized in so, the armed forces. So firstly, the armed forces is not a employment generation scheme, it is a service. I mean, you join because uh, you are patriotic, you join because you want to uh, serve that country, you join because you want to do something for the nation, nation ke liye kuch karna hai. No, that is what the, uh, the ethos of this whole scheme was, to ensure that, you know, we build a nationalist ethos among the, uh, the uh, youth who serve for four years, they are empowered, they are educated, they get, uh, you know, enriched, they get a seva nidhi and then when they go out, he is, uh, I mean, he is very young at that point of time. If, imagine joining at 17 and a half, you are, when you are going out, you are only about uh, 22 and that age, uh, the world is uh, yours. You have, uh, the, you know, you have educational credits with you to get a, complete your degree, you can, uh, you have uh, some working capital with you. Uh, you're, you got 
n number of uh, uh, benefits in terms of tangible and intangible uh, things that you have gained. Uh, intangibles, you know, leadership qualities, uh, time management, uh, discipline, uh, you know, uh, your personality, uh, how you speak, how you conduct yourself, uh, patriotism, uh, the uh, ability to work hard, you know, face challenges. So, whole lot of uh, benefits have accrued to you, uh, which really cannot be, uh, you know, even quantified. But you would accept that in places like Haryana, places like Bihar and several other parts of the country where there are martial villages, people would join the armed forces generation after generation thinking that once you join, you are taken care of for life. That pact between the government and the armed forces on the one side and these youngsters and their families and their villages on the other, that pact seems to be snapping. That is the primary concern of those who seem to be protesting. So here I want to ask you, you know, I will give you two aspects of it. First is, do you want an all India, all class military or do you want a military which is only from a specific areas? You know, that is something you have to give it a thought. The Navy today, I can tell you, is, uh, is uh, represented in 656 districts out of 773 districts of the country and we hope to make it 100% in the next few years. How do you achieve it? You achieve it if you have a scheme like that Navir, where you are now almost, uh, you know, tripling the number of people that you are going to take, albeit for shorter durations. But the aim is to have a Agnivir from every block in the country. Shouldn't you want that? Or should you have everybody only from one village? Uh, 